My name is Brian Terrence Jordan Jr. and I'm an educator at Plaquemine High School in Inverwood Parish. As an educator, I'm most passionate about my kids learning, but also having fun while they're learning. I make sure my students know I care about them once they leave the hallways of Plaquemine High. In the video, you will see 11 and 12 graders take part in a lesson from Unit 2 Foreign Policy Through the Great War, Topic 2, World War I, and its aftermath. The objective of the lesson was students can explain how the government directly supported World War I through propaganda. By the end of this lesson, students were expected to answer the exit ticket, how was propaganda used to promote support for the war? And to be successful for this exit ticket, they had to directly answer the questions and provide at least two pieces of evidence to support their answer to. Welcome, exit. welcome, welcome. Let's get started. So first, let's start off with Good things, right? I need at least three people for good things, then we can move on. Miss Mary. I have fun at the Acadian Festival. Have fun at the Acadian Festival, you got it on. And I took my ACT. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what follows? Oh, uh, I went to the junior preview of LSU thing Saturday. Paul went there too. I had a football player go there too. Y'all had fun? Yeah, I saw him. I heard it was a lot of walking. We were going to the food court. We were walking out, he was going in. I was like. I heard it was a lot of walking. Oh, yeah. A lot of walking, yeah, it's campus. Miss Q. We had battle bands and we was in a parade. Battle bands and parade? That sounds like a busy, busy weekend. That's me too. I had ACT and ACT. then I had the parade. Oh, I had and then on Friday I had the football game. Oh, I had ooh, ooh. Yeah, I had ACT. 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 Let's get started. Y'all know how we always start off our um, class with review. review, review, review. So we still gonna be talking about World War One. We still talking about World War One today, right? But to review, what caused World War One? Mania. Mania. mania, right? Mania, mania, mania. We know mania is the M stands for the A stands for the N stands for. The I stand for? Imperialism. And the last A stand for? Assassination. Assassination, right? Good, good. Right. right? So moving on for today, right? Our agenda for today, our objective is I can't explain the ways the United States government controlled dissent and direct support for World War I. Then we're going to talk about introduction of the Lee 2025 key term propaganda. Then we're going to analyze the source controlling dissent. We will answer a few short answer questions, and then we have our exit ticket for today. To read the definition of propaganda. Information, ideas, or rumors that deliberately, deliberately, deliberately spread, spread widely to help or harm a person, group, movement, institution, or nation. Yes, yes, yes. So when we're thinking about propaganda, this is what I want y'all to think about. When we think about propaganda, I want you to think about poster boards, advertisement to basically what it says, spread help or harm to a person, group, movement, institution, or nation. So the movement that we're talking about today is what? World War, World War I, right? It's trying to promote people to support World War I. We're gonna hop into our source. So, like I told y'all before class started, you need to have a person as the highlighter, you need to have a person as the writer, right? We're all gonna read and then we're gonna talk about it. But as the highlighter, your responsibility is to highlight the answers to the discussion questions that will be presented on the board. My writer, your job is to write notes about the source as we're reading, right? So you're gonna write source, you're gonna write notes on the source on your on whiteboard, and then we're gonna have a notes for today's source on the big whiteboard. All right? Everybody understand what we have to do. All right, so get your breakdown of how it's going to roll. So you have three pages. Each page is going to have a different set of discussion questions. All right, so we're going to read about it. Then we're going to do what? Talk about, talk about it. it. After we talk about it as a class, that's when you're going to highlight and write notes as you're reading on your whiteboard. With our first part of page one, page one, discussion questions as follows, says, what was President Wilson's goal with the American First propaganda campaign? And what was the division among the American people during the lead up of the war? All right, so as you're reading, you should think of President Wilson's goal for having propaganda. All right, so, wait. 
first part. What is the main thing being talked about? How they were trying to get people, at least try to get people. Like, so people would like go, like go with them, Prom along with them. Support, right? Support, support the right? So to give you a preview of what I want to talk about, find out who is President Wilson talking to in this section. Talking to the Americans, but what type of Americans? Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, with page ones, all right? My first question to y'all, what was American First message? What was this President Wilson American First message was? You get a volunteer, raise your hand. Um, that he wanted to convince the Americans to um that they should do everything in their will. So um ensure that America win and um even if they don't vote, like they want them to at least try to do something. Um, all right, all right. So what she's trying to say is Americans first was to convince Americans should do everything in their power to make sure that American won this world war. Right? So, just for a little note, right? We just put America first. Right? America first. So, my question is to y'all. Who was President Wilson talking to when he was saying keep America first? They talked to the first immigrants. Well, who was on there, but everybody. The he was on the right track. He was talking to the the immigrants, right? He was talking to the immigrants because he was saying, I know that y'all have ties to other countries that's in this war, but y'all need to keep who first? American. American first, right? And to re review way back to Unit 1, immigrants, right? Which island, what is the name of the islands that immigrants came into? Ellis Island, Ellis Island and Angel Island, right? Ellis Island was on which coast? The east, the, the east coast, right? With what type of immigrants came in through the Ellis Island? Uh, European. European, right? And the Angel Island was in California. And what type of immigrant, immigrants came through? Chinese. Chinese, which are considered Asians, right? Good, good, good. So we know that President Wilson was saying, "Keep America first, so we can win the war." He's talking to these immigrants. Right, page two. Right, page two. And let me get a volunteer to read discussion question one. What was the purpose of the public information during World War One? What was the purpose of the Committee of Public Information during World War One? And question two says, what were some of the actions taken by large leagues formed by the Committee of Public Information? So just with reading our discussion questions before you look at the source. What is a group of people you think we need to focus on? The Committee of Public Information, right? We need to figure out who is this committee so we can answer our, our discussion questions. All right? Most of the world at the time. Hold on, so what y'all talking about? Some of y'all talking about some information. We're talking about number two. Talking about two? So what were some of the actions taken by? Schools banned teaching the German language. Some restaurants were very refused to serve like their foods and stuff, mm -hmm. and they were for, they refused to perform, perform music written by German composers. The treaty was not part of the culture, right? It says the trade impact not part of this note, but it's very important to lead us into page three. Yeah, in the bottom, there's uh, the treaty with the enemy in the Treaty with foreign nations is part of the Treaty of the Enemy Act of 1917, which is separate from the propaganda campaign, but was also passed through the court. So, what about that last act? That last act, which is the Bush Act, you're talking about. Right underneath the Trade with the Act. Yeah. Yeah. Sedimentation Act. Prohibited any criticism yeah, or disloyal language. So they wouldn't teach any languages that oppose them. 
or when it gets to rain. So like it can be a teacher. But look at it though. It says prohibit any criticism or disorder language against the federal government's policy, the United States Constitution, the military uniform, or the American flag. Basically, they wanted the act to basically make Americans follow whatever they're doing. Right, right, right. So they and can't go against it. I want to ask the class this one, make sure I'll go first. So, with the Sedation Act, what amendment is this violating? The U.S. Constitution. Which amendment? Uh, it's saying you cannot speak out against the First, first Amendment, right? Freedom of speech. So, with the Sedation Act, right? Sedation Act, we know violated the First Amendment, right? Freedom of speech, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, if you spoke out, if you violated this act, right? It says in the source that people violated this act, correct? What was your re what was the reaction to that? Like what happened, Mr. Colard? You go to jail for ten years. You go to jail, right? You was prosecuted. We're gonna right? get yeah. Group Three to come up and present oh. Oh. their no, voice. No, no, no. no? no. You never said anything. Y'all, y'all. Yeah. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So they are, they are a little nervous. So I'm gonna present it for them. All right. So Group Three, right? Ms. Mary, Zero, Apollo, and Paul, right? So this is their notes, right? So they got the name of the source, controlling dissent, right? They got the name, the definition of dissent, disagreement, right? They got the definition of propaganda, information, ideas, rumors spread worldwide to either help or harm, right? Get people to support what war? World War I, right? They got American first, was pushed to convince Americans that they should do everything in their power to ensure American victory. Right, also talks about um, the hate that they had for Germany, right? In addition to the propaganda campaign, right? They tried to, um, legislation, right? The Committee of the Public Information also, right? Was anti-Germany, right? Also, they talked about the Trading with Emily Act and the, the Bureau also, Last but not least, they talked about the Sedation Act, where over a thousand were convicted for violating this act, was sentenced to 10 years in jail, which also we know violated the First Amendment, right? Huh? Oh, you on the right? All right, so to send y'all off, to send y'all off, to send y'all off. So right, lock in, lock in for the end. Oh, I got y'all. I got y'all. Seven thousand minutes. So our lunch for today. Our lunch for today is set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Right, set your goals high, don't stop. The lesson objective was met because students were able to successfully answer the question and provide at least two pieces of evidence to support their answer. After the completion of Unit Two, Topic Two. My students were able to pass their quiz on the beginning phases of World War I, which ultimately helped them understand the ending of World War I and its aftermath. This will also get them ready for the U.S. History Leap Test 2025. Thank you.